let us see carotid triangle in detail as we already seen it is the area which is pre present between posterior belly of digastric anterior border of sternocleidomastoid and superior belly of omohyoid we have removed the covering of this structures in the carotid triangle that is carotid sheath in the carotid sheath a very thin structure we are going to see along the anterior wall that is the ansa cervicalis you can see this branch going and supplying the infrahyoid muscle so once the carotid sheath is removed you can see the contents from midline to laterally this is the common carotid artery then this is the vagus nerve and this is the internal jugular vein so the vagus nerve is present between the artery and vein and on the posterior aspect now this common carotid at the upper border of thyroid cartilage you can see divided into two branches again so the medial one this is the external carotid and this is the internal carotid artery you can differentiate by location also internal carotid artery will not give any branch in the neck while external carotid will give branches like this one first branch superior thyroid which is going to supply the thyroid gland then the tortuous artery that is the lingual artery and then the facial artery which is passing through the submandibular gland towards the face and the artery will continue upwards towards parotid gland there are other branches which will come from posterior aspect as well now this carotid and the vein they are covered by this loop of a nerve this is the hypoglossal nerve 12th cranial nerve which will form a loop over this structure and will go and supply the muscles of tongue it will give a branch to the formation of ansa cervicalis so here you can see the artery common carotid external carotid internal carotid internal jugular vein vagus nerve hypoglossal nerve and there is spinal accessory that we'll see with deep dissection which will later on clearly visible in the posterior triangle